Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And good afternoon to you all. You're very welcome this afternoon to the Basilica of Our Lady, Queen of Ireland, here at Ireland's International Eucharistic and Marian Shrine. I welcome all of you, wherever you've come from this afternoon. You're most welcome. And those of you joining us on our webcam from all over the world, from our own country and indeed our own parish. As it is 12 noon, we pray the Angelus together. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Go forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace in our hearts, that we, the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, once made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, O Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In order now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass worthily, we call to mind our sins. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who through your only begotten Son have brought us a new creation for yourself, have made us a new creation for yourself, grant, we pray, that by your grace we may be found in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God, and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The word of the Lord. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. Nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people, and hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. In his, ju in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. <clears throat> Be 
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set, he set himself to teach them at some length. By now it was getting very late, and his disciples came up to him and said, This is a lonely place, and it is getting very late, so send them away, and they can go to the farms and the villages round about to buy themselves something to eat. He replied, Give them something to eat yourselves. They answered, Are we to go and spend two hundred denarii on bread for them to eat? How many loaves have you? he asked. Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he ordered them to take, get all the people together in groups on the green grass, and they sat down on the ground in squares of hundreds and fifties. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven, and said the blessing. Then he broke the loaves and handed them to his disciples to distribute among the people. He also shared out the two fish among them all. They all ate as much as they wanted. They collected twelve baskets full of scraps of bread and pieces of fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered five thousand men. This is the Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> Tomorrow we celebrate the baptism of the Lord, the feast of the baptism of the Lord. And since the Epiphany, which means a manifestation on the 6th of, of um, January, the feast of the Epiphany, it manifests the Lord, the Christ, as Messiah and as Saviour of the world. Through birth uh, in Bethlehem, through his baptism in the Jordan, and through the wedding feast of Cana. Baptism in Jordan, because that was his first public outing. John baptized him. And the wedding feast of the Cana was his first miracle. And so these days we have the miracles. Today it's about the, the loaves and fish bringing the people together. All of these aren't, as I explained many times before, not magical tricks that Jesus wanted to perform to show the people who he was. He could have done far more than that. But they are manifestations of faith of the people as well. People came to hear him. He said 5,000 men, that usually doesn't count women and children as well, that wouldn't normally be there. So it was a vast number of people. And they came because they wanted to hear what he was saying. It resonated with them and their lives. They wanted to make it part of their lives. And he meets their need that way in terms of faith. But also he meets their need in terms of of their physical sustenance as well. So our faith for ourselves, when we come, let's say, here to Knock today, this afternoon, we want a little bit of spiritual food to help us to continue on our pilgrim path in this life, to give us hope and encouragement and <clears throat> indeed to recognize that the Lord is with us. We partake of the bread of life in Holy Communion to give ourselves that sustenance spiritually as well as physically, in terms for ourselves, for our whole being. And so, as we move along, move in towards the new year, as we, whatever resolutions we've made for ourselves, that we keep in mind our spiritual lives, our spiritual selves, that God is with us, that he wants the best for us, and that we come together in this manner to sustain ourselves in solidarity. Amen. We um, offer our prayers and intentions now this afternoon. So we stand as we uh, offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. We pray, as always, for Pope Francis. May the Lord be with him in his ministry as successor of St. Peter and in, um, in proclaiming uh, the good news of Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. <coughs> we pray for our new Archbishop, Francis Duffy, who will be installed in Tune tomorrow as Archbishop of Tune. We pray for him. We ask the Lord now to be with him as he enters upon a new uh, ministry with us in this diocese. May the Lord strengthen and keep him. We also pray for our retired Archbishop, Michael Leary, who retires, and the Lord may sustain him in his retirement as well. Lord, hear us. 
And we pray for all our wonderful doctors and nurses and carers and all in emergency services who work to keep us safe. May the Lord bless them in that work. Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick and those who are in need, perhaps some of you here present. Pray for those of you who are joining us on webcam from your own homes, from nursing homes or hospitals or hospices at this time. Pray for you all. May the Lord be with you in your time of need. and May the Lord sustain you and bring you his healing help. Lord, hear us. And we all come to knock with a particular prayer, whatever has brought you here this afternoon. So let's offer that now to our Heavenly Father for ourselves and for those who have asked for our prayers. We incorporate also the petitions that have been sent in to us. Lord, hear us. And finally, for the faithfully parted and for all who have died, may they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Father in heaven, we present our prayers before you. We ask you to hear and grant them through Christ our Lord. Sorry, now we have our collection and our ushers will go through the basilica there. This collection, as always, goes towards the upkeep of the shrine and the provision of facilities here in Loch. We thank you for your generosity. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> o God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty by partaking of the sacred mystery. We may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. We stand for the preface. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ. 
as a light for the nations, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. standing or kneel for the consecration. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pay by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. seat now, please. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, God in heaven, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, forgive those who give us against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. 
pause there for a moment and bring before the Lord prayer for the gift of peace in our, for ourselves and for our families for the year ahead. seat now, please. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you joining us on our webcam, I invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion in which you express your faith in Jesus Christ truly present in the Eucharist and unite yourselves with him. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were there already and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those of you here present in the Basilica, myself and ministers of the Eucharist will come amongst you. As we approach you, we invite you to receive only on your hands. If there is somebody present that just simply wishes to receive a blessing, please indicate as such by crossing your arms in front of you. And finally, if there's somebody present with celiac condition, we have celiac hosts with us.
most sacrament, most holy, most sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. We offer a prayer to Mary as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Knock, Saint Joseph, Saint John the Evangelist, let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and, and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. For the final blessing, to thank you all very much for being with us here this, af this afternoon in the Basilica. I will bless any religious objects you may happen to have with you. To remind you that you can send in your petitions to us by uh, on our website, nockshrine.ie, or by post, and we incorporate them in our, all our masses. You can also light your candles on our website, those of you who are joining us on our, online. You can do that at nockshrine.ie, and then we light them here at the shrine for you. Those of you here present can light your candles over at the old church where there's somebody there to, to help you to do so. And uh, we also encourage those of you online as well to use the facility that we have for donations to the, to the shrine, and we thank you for your generosity. Just remains now on behalf of myself and Father Eamon there and Una there on the organ and uh, Kevin inside here. And our rushers from us to you, we pray God keep you all well and keep you all safe. And we give a big wave to everybody joining us right across the world. And thank you for waving back and to yourselves as well too. We bless now any religious objects you may happen to have with you. Almighty Father, bless these medals and religious objects, and may your saving presence be with those who use them, and in the homes in which they are placed, and I bless them, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you all. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, we be so.